what do you think would indicate why I'm not a Christian? Because what if you're like, well, I'm a Christian, you're, you're not a Christian, because of the, maybe the way that I talk or the things that I've talked about? Cussing? No, seriously? No one pointed to the cussing? Cussing. Really? My mother-in-law does not cuss. I'll tell you that. We had that whole conversation last night. (laughs) Yeah, I went over to their house for dinner, and and then we brought that up. And then my niece, who's like 18, is like, yeah, the F word just means planting a seed. And she's just like... (sighs) about to blow up. We go to my belief system and then I have to still have criteria for why I believe something is or isn't something like a sin, right? And then is something a sin to the point where I don't think that other people should be able to do it, like murder? How do I justify or rationalize any of this stuff? You guys all have to have something like that for yourself. So cussing, I mean, that's a little bit more complicated. And I know it's, it's not something on here. You're definitely not gonna write an essay on cussing, right? Like, that's our problem these days. It's the cussing. <laughs> My mother-in-law might write that essay. Is it actually a sin or are they just words? There's other ways to say more hurtful things about dropping an F-bomb. Yeah, you don't have to drop the F-bomb to say something horrible. Plus, all the words that you think of like the F word or the C word or shit. Those are all Anglo-Saxon words. And when the Normans conquered the Anglos, they killed all the men and then bred with their women. But now you've got children. What language do the children speak? No. The mom is obviously gonna try and teach her kid her own mother tongue, but the dad will have no part in that. That's not gonna happen. That's a filthy tongue. So they make that bad language. They villainize it. I see what you mean. There's definitely some uh, roots from during that time yeah. that carried over here. But I also feel it's also the correlation from whatever media produced, like raps and stuff, and it's, uh, it's correlated with like devil speak and stuff like that. Like there's more correlations with where those words are than right. they originally were now. There's like. There's curse words that are actually just normal words, but they're bad because they're hurtful, like bastard. Yeah. Right? My favorite one, so fun to say. Your parents weren't married. Yeah. It's like, you, ah, yeah. Oh my God. No, seriously, a perfect example. There is something to the significance of language, like let's say the N word. People have made the argument that it just means ignorant. I've had that. So You've heard someone say that, right? My friend, he's a white kid, right? His of course he was. Old grandma. She didn't hate me or my family. I used to go over there like almost every day. She used to say it. The only reason why it stuck with me, because I've heard it before, but it didn't mean it, right? Yeah. The reason it stuck with me is because she would say it like, ah, oh, what a filthy. And then she turned to me and said, oh, sorry, baby. It doesn't mean, I don't mean you. It just means dirty person. And I was like, wow. Well, Okay. Why are you telling this to me, though? I how come you're saying that to Sean, who's across on the other side of the couch from me? Why are you talking to me about this? What's that about? Yeah. My history book. And I was like, oh. Uh huh. It doesn't mean dirty person. Yeah. So that's not true, right? But let's say they're like, oh, it's just that. Or coon. Coon was one too, and there's like quite a few others. All of this language, now, the correlation is undeniable. So even if you could connect it back to an archaic meaning to the word, it has a new meaning now, a current meaning still. So yeah, you could say that it's a bad word and why would you use this? Why would you use the word? What's the point of it? Can't you articulate yourself in different language? So there are bad words probably, but in and of itself, a word is a word. So I would argue that no word is a sin, but your intention behind it is the sin. And no one's gonna say the N word if they're a white person to a black person. No one's gonna say that with good intention or at least without thinking about what that could mean even if they didn't mean it that way. If they think that it's an endearing thing, it's still, do they think it's an endearing thing? This reminds me of high school when uh, my entire friend group got really woke. We thought, words are just words. We should be able to say whatever we like. Mm. I don't mean it in a bad way. Therefore, inward. 
And we were like, oh yes, my inward. Oh yeah, inward, like hard art, right? Yeah, yeah. And for all of us, different races uh, from all across the globe, just saying the inward. And then uh, one day, w one of us woke up and was just like, hey, isn't this retarded? Isn't this yeah. really bad? Should retarded. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> no, but you're right. Isn't this dumb? We're like, isn't it this, even if we don't think it's bad, yeah. if somebody hears this and who does think it's bad, is it worth the offense? Is our freedom to say whatever the hell this word is, uh, regardless of its meaning, is it, is our want to say it, does that overshadow mm -hmm. the right for, or our care for other people to not feel oppressed or attacked? Yeah. Does anyone know who iDubbbz is? Mm -hmm. He's one of those yeah. YouTubers. I have crippling depression. Right? Yeah, that's kind of why. Yeah, they probably watched his video on it. So, do you guys know who Tana Mangu is? Mangu? Whatever. Did you guys watch this one? Say nigger. We are very fucking stupid to hold the word nigger at this colossally high standard, whereas every other slur, that, that can be used in a comedic sense or an editorial sense, but not this one, because that one has history. Well, guess what, fucking retards? All the other ones have history, too. Either all of them are okay, or none of them are okay. It's literally, like, the definition of desensitizing society to the n-word and taking us a million steps back. She used the dreaded n-word in the past, but she didn't use the n-word in the same way that I use it. She used it in a very mean-spirited way. You know you're a stupid nigger, right? You fucking nigger! He does make some interesting arguments towards that, and there is a huge difference between someone like that and then Mel Gibson who gets drunk and talks about the Jews controlling Hollywood or something crazy like that, or denying the Holocaust or whatever. So there is something there. However, I'd still make plenty of arguments against both. You're right. You shouldn't let someone with just a word like yeah. affect us so heavily. But did you care about people? I think Ido's case is, no, I don't care. Like if, if you're wrong, you're wrong. It's his mindset. But yeah. other human beings have sympathy uh -huh. and compassion. It's a different story. So the criteria gets more complicated with all this stuff, even the cussing thing. And my mother-in-law, I push her lovingly. Intellectually, I, I try to push her ideas on it because if it's just a sin, because it's always been a sin, because it's been traditionally thought of as a sin by her family members, if there's no thought that goes into it and it's just because that's what she was taught, that's a fallacy, that's appeal towards tradition, and there's nothing backing it. Now, if it offends someone for me to say it, then I'm not gonna cuss around my mother-in-law. Also, I find sometimes I'm cussing and I'm like, hmm, I'm in sin with this anyway, because I'm saying it with anger or whatever. So, it depends. I'm pretty much under the, uh, under the, the same argument that you brought up. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm under the viewpoint that Edris brought up earlier, which was that something could be articulated better. It's like saying um. Or like. Or like. Yeah. Or same. When you first... <laughs> when you first learned about cuss words, did you cuss like crazy? Yeah. Yeah. I remember like second grade when I was with my friends, low key, we were just fucking F this, that. Every other word was a cuss word because it made us feel like we were more adult or we had power or something like that. I remember calling every single person on the playground a gay word. Yeah. I didn't even know what gay was yet, but I knew that people said it to you and it wasn't a good thing. So I was just like, haha, gay word. Ten years later, I was like, oh, wait. Oh! 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 Oh!